<laughs> Ladies, y'all have really messed up. Y'all, when I was sent this video, I was thoroughly blown away. Like, I really could not believe what I was hearing. Men now are entering into what they are referring to as financial celibacy, to where they're no longer cashing out, spending money, or funding any woman, any date whatsoever, you know? And to me, this really does showcase just how much men have been taken advantage of. You know what I mean? Like how much time and money, specifically money, has men been wasting on these women trying to get to know them, trying to establish some kind of rapport, some kind of connection, chemistry, relationship, to the point to where now they're like, you know what? Nah, <laughs> if you genuinely want to get to know me, you have to do it with something free, okay? That's how I'm going to determine whether or not, you know, I should progress forward and take you seriously. Like, <laughs> and I cannot stress this enough, Ladies, how broke are y'all? You know, how selfish are y'all to the point to where y'all really have been demanding, commanding these men to go above and beyond on y'all, to treat you to dinners, lunch, brunch, you know, cash out, splurge on you, you know, and, and seemingly... They don't know you. They're, they're seemingly trying to get to know you, yet you're requiring all of this grand treatment from these men. How broke are y'all? How selfish have y'all been to where the men like, nah, nah, <laughs> I'm not paying for that. I'm not buying that. I'm not taking you here. If it's not free, you can't sit with me. Like what is at play? Y'all let me know, okay? But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. And I want to share this with y'all as well so y'all can give me y'all's feedback. Fellas, have y'all reached y'all's breaking point like this brother has seemingly reached his to where it's like, no, <laughs> free dates only. Let me know. <laughs> like, did y'all keep messing up, man? <laughs> y'all got these men fed up with the shenanigans. They're like, oh, hell no. Let's get into it. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an announcement to make, and this mostly applies to the ladies. Don P is in his financial celibacy era. I'm going through a financial celibacy journey right now, and I don't need you trying to persuade or coerce me, ladies, to spend any money at all. My bank account is celibate. My savings account is celibate. My investments are celibate. Any money tools that I might have at my disposal are all celibate, and my money will not allow its cheeks to be clapped by you, okay? So we can still go on dates, but we gotta go on dates that are free. We can go on, on a walk on the beach. We have beautiful beaches here in California. We can go to the park. We can watch a movie at my house. We can watch a movie at your place. We can do something fun and free because unfortunately my wallet and my money is now celibate. Even my MX card, MX was like, sir, are you still on your, uh, your financial celibacy journey? I was like, yes. It was like, okay, your card is available for use for anything that doesn't apply to women and dating. But you can spend money on your daughter, your mother, your family, but anybody that you're dating, unfortunately, sir, that charge will not go through. So ladies, I need you guys to respect that. I don't need you to try to force me, push me, coerce me, tell me any lies or fake stories about your grandma being sick, about the fact that your life can't cut off or you can't pay your rent because I'm in my financial celibacy era. It's my money, my choice. Oh! Now, I wanted to allow him to go ahead and say everything clean through so that you all can really internalize his message, okay? And what stood out to me the most is, first things first, how he did offer alternatives, right? He's not in this mode of, you know, I'm not going to date. 
You know, I'm not going to take you out and show you a good time and have fun with you. However, we can do things that don't require me to break my pockets in order to try to get to know you. Because here's the thing, ladies, and this is where y'all really mess up. And again, y'all like the video. These men are completely strangers for the most part when it comes to, you know, going out with you. So it's not like they are in any kind of um, space to where they feel like they are obligated to pour into you. Like that's the whole premise or the whole basis of dating is so that we can get to a level to where I feel more comfortable, you know, with doing certain things for you. But first things first, can I even get to see if I like you? If we're compatible before you start, you know, demanding so much and requiring so much from, from me, you know, and that's where a lot of women blow it. They blow it by trying to do too much or get the men to do too much too soon. OK, but I did love how he offered alternatives. He said we can go to the beach. They have really nice beaches where he is. He said we can go watch movies the whole nine, you know, at my house, your house, wherever you feel comfortable now. I will be honest and give some pushback there because if you all are strangers, um, you may not feel comfortable with going to somebody's home or personal environment. You know what I mean? So that I can understand how a woman can be like kind of iffy and skeptical in that arena. But like he said, there are plenty of fun things that you all can partake in in that dating space to where it's not requiring a man to spend his whole paycheck on a stranger okay so ladies these men are at least trying to give y'all alternative routes to take in order to establish some kind of relationship with you you know they're not just saying oh no we can kick it in my car you know oh no you know we can kick it at you know the club like they're at least trying to give y'all things that could be romantic, could be intimate of a setting, but still, you know, having boundaries. And I can do nothing but respect that. The second thing that stood out to me was the fact that he said, I don't want to hear any sob stories. <laughs> and the reason why that stood out to me was because I can't help but to think how many women right have been coming to these men like the gross sisters with their hands out don't even know these guys talking about oh my poodle died and so um yeah i know you don't know me like that but you know i really loved uh my my poodle poodle lisa and so it would just really be an honor if you could maybe sponsor Puta Lena's or Puta Lisa, whatever I just said, you know, sponsor her burial because, you know, she was my little princess. And so, you know, if you have at least $3,000 to spare for the burial of my poodle, that would be so great of you. Or, you know, yeah. I really like you, but I'm a little bit behind on the rent or I really like you, but I'm kind of behind on my car payments. Like how much <laughs> have y'all been dumping on these men that again, you don't know, they don't know you to the point to where these men are like, look, and y'all can cut the sob stories, cut the BS. I don't want to hear nothing about what your mama going through, what your daddy going through, your puppy died, your fish died save it okay i am not coming to save you i am not coming to rescue you so don't even ask how bad has it been out here fellas y'all let me know right now can y'all feel this brother's pain <laughs> like seriously are women out the gate coming through with sob stories so you can pay a bill so you can you know sponsor a purse like what is going on ladies i really need to know how broke are y'all okay is it that bad sis so where you have to make up stories you know or maybe they're telling the truth fellas have you ever thought about that maybe these women really are struggling and suffering you know and they need help 
that could be a thing too but at any rate though that is not that man's responsibility okay that is not my problem that your mother needs help with her doctor's bills or whatever you know or you need to bury your, your damn dog not my problem ma'am i don't know you okay um but yeah like I, I just cannot help but to think to myself how common is this for men to be like you know what no we're only gonna go on free dates no don't come to me with a sob story and you know no i'm not going above and beyond for you if we're strangers like what is going on fellas y'all let me know can y'all relate to that okay also i would love for the guys to in the comments tell us ladies okay what are some other alternative dates that are free that you all feel would be how can i put this safe appealing the whole nine yards as it pertains to women you know what i mean because i don't want um men to get in this mindset or in this mode of just doing the bare minimum you know what i mean now granted i will say that when it comes to uh a woman the effort should be mutual you know so it should not just be one party doing the most while the other one just receives everything it has to be a mutual pursuit you know it has to be a balanced exchange um however i gotta be real enough to say you know i don't want men to get in this mode of oh no you know i'm just gonna take you to burger king or i'm just gonna take you to you know the front seat of my car and you know we can chop it up and kick it that way like what are some creative fun intimate environments that may just so happen to be free that you all feel a woman would want to be a part of you know so let me know with that but let's continue and y'all like the video share the video and subscribe see gentlemen one of the things you're gonna have to deal with in your financial celibacy journey is shame and guilt because when you pull the money away that creates fear this young lady said he's doing well for the last three months you you broke rich men don't complain you're right you have no money so now he's responding i guess to a few of the comments that he received from his last video of saying hey i'm in my financial celibacy era you know what i mean drizzle drizzle i'm not going to be out here spending a whole bunch of money on women that i don't know that i'm just trying to you know get to know you know i'm not doing all of that and so now he's receiving pushback from the women so this comment says he's doing well for the last three months with the laughing faces it says y'all are broke okay now it looks like a, a typo because it says you're you're broke i don't know but she's pretty much saying y'all are broke rich men don't complain so that piece is supposed to again be an insult to these men that are trying to be wise with their money wise with the women that they interact with and engage with and that's supposed to make you all feel ashamed uh guilty broke and all of that because she threw in the element of well men who are rich they don't complain about you know nice dates they don't complain about spending money on strangers they don't complain about you know going above and beyond for a woman that they don't know so you must be broke for you to have these sentiments that's what she's trying to do okay and so she says y'all it says you're right you'll have no money right so she's trying to attack and insult his status as far as his finances are concerned by saying hey yeah you're just a broke dusty you know just admit it because after all real men okay I, i'm translating for y'all okay real men that got it they don't complain about um being taken advantage of by women okay so now he's responding to that let's get into it see that is the tactic that you have to be completely oblivious to if a woman says to me oh you in your financial celibacy era you must be broke i will say yes i am broke when it comes to spending money on you i could buy a new house i could buy a new vehicle i could buy anything that i want from the mall and anything that i want in life but when it comes to the balance in my account for spending money on you it is in the negative i am in the red i am poverty stricken when it comes to spending money on you i am broke i am broke 10 ways to sunday sorry i can't spend any finances see the only real way 
that women can stop a man in his financial celibacy era is to try to shame and guilt him. Otherwise, if she doesn't really like him, she has to get the hell on somewhere because she knows he's not spending any money. So what it really comes down to is you being able to hold doubt and overcome the shame, the insults, the guilt, the incessant need to be right, the sign language, so that you will not allow her to hit your, your financial cheeks from the back because she wants to clap like clap your financial cheeks from the back. You must stop that. And the only way to stop that is by ignoring the shame and the guilt. Yeah, I told y'all, I told y'all this day would come to where the men would take all of your insults and throw it back at y'all and say, yep, I sure am broke. Yep, I sure am dusty. Yep, all of that. Whatever you say, ma'am, I'll be all of those different things. But guess what? I'm still not going to give in to you. Guess what? You still can't have my money. Guess what? I'm still going to be better off. The men don't care anymore. I told y'all women out there that these men would one day reach this point of not giving a damn about what you have to say. Because at the end of the day, what matters to them is that they are protected. So they don't care about you calling them broke if I know, you know, that I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about you saying I'm broke. The reverse psychology insult tactic, that's so damn old and played out. Like, it's a wrap with that, ladies. Oh, if you were a real man, you would you would cash out on me. You know, and it used to be a thing to where the men would be like, well, let me prove to her that I am a real man and cash out on her. Today, the men will say, yeah, I'm not a real man. I'm Pinocchio. And I can't wait to be a real boy. They don't care. <laughs> this is crazy. They don't care, ladies. They don't. And what's really, really sad about all of this is the fact that women for so long have been wanting for these men to finally, you know, do certain things that they feel is treating them like they are the prize and treating them, you know, with the class, decency, love and respect that they so called deserve and everything of that sort, you know? And when it comes to certain women, I do feel like they do deserve certain treatment and certain, you know, qualities as far as men are concerned. However, what's very sad about it is a lot of you ladies out there, you're not that type of woman. You're not the type of woman that is deserving of having a man to be in your life that is showing up for you in ways that, you know, he's not showing up for any other woman. Y'all are not quality women. Y'all are coming through broke and dusty yourselves, demanding the most. And it's like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. And something else that I felt was very eye-opening that he said in that last little piece was the fact that when it comes to a woman that genuinely wants to get to know you, you know, she won't mind you saying, hey, let's do something free. Let's do something fun and free. But the women who don't really like you like that they're going to have the most pushback with a man that is like, you know, trying to be in his financial celibacy bag because she's only there for his money in the first place. So if you're cutting off access to that, and that's the only reason why I'm there in the first place, it's like, well, why am I here? And so ladies, I need y'all to understand that these men are actually utilizing these certain tactics when it comes to their money to weed out the bad apples, the users, the manipulators, the gold diggers. And salute to these brothers for doing that because I have always been a strong advocate for that. I've always said that a woman that genuinely wants to get to know a man, a, a woman that genuinely is interested in a man, she's not really going to care about him doing the absolute most in the beginning or at all, to be real, you know, but when I talk like that, I'm going to pick me and all of that. But that's the, the truth. The truth of the matter is when a woman is really feeling you, it does not 
not take much. Now, again, I'm not going to go as far as saying that a man should be lazy and a man should do the bare minimum. But when a woman really values you, it's more so about experiencing the, the time with you, um, generating the the compassion with you generating the memories with you the bond with you like that is going to be her focus you know because i'm gonna tell y'all right now there is nothing better than being able to vibe out with a guy that you can relate to that you feel like you are compatible with like money can't purchase that you know what I'm saying? And so I love that these men are actually doing this because y'all will be able to really see a woman for who she is. Y'all will be able to truly and clearly see, you know, what is this woman about? What is she really here for? What is her pure intentions? You know, because again, if she's really here for me, it won't matter about the materials. It won't matter about how much I'm spending. It won't matter about you know, being able to show off. It is about us establishing that chemistry, that bond, that relationship, that love, that respect for one another that we can really build upon. It's about that foundation at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So ladies, be on the lookout for that, you know, because men are able to weave y'all out based upon that element alone. Once I remove money from the equation, you're removing yourself from the equation as well. Okay, great. You did me a favor by exposing yourself. Why was it that when I removed money from the conversation, you know, you wanted to bounce? Was it all about the money to begin with? Was it all about you being able to get over it to begin with? Get a free meal, whatever the case may be, to begin with? Or were you really trying to get to know me? And the women that stick around, after, you know, him removing certain things and elements and setting up certain boundaries, those women that stick around, yeah, that's a strong sign that she's there for the right reasons. Again, I salute it. I thought it was funny. He said a lot of these women are trying to clap your financial cheeks. I don't know. <laughs> but so many men are feeling this way and rightfully so. Like men have been done really dirty for a long time. I'm going to be honest, you know, as a woman, I was looking in even, it's like, yeah, that's kind of messed up. That's kind of grimy that women really just fixate on, you know, what that man can do for her, how that man can make her look. But it's never this instance of how can she improve his life and make his life more enjoyable and easier. You know, it is no reciprocation or appreciation in relationships today, in establishing a relationship today, which is also a reason why men are not even dating, okay? Men are not even trying to get into relationships is so bad. So ladies, y'all should be so lucky that you even have men still wanting to take y'all out on free dates. Like, girl, wake up. But I want to share this with you all, get y'all's feedback on it. Let me know, are you in your financial celibacy bag? How's that going for you? Are you able to weed out the bad apples and find quality women by doing that? And also, again, let us know what are some alternative dates that you all can take these women on. That is fun, okay? That is safe and that is free, okay? It benefits you both. Y'all let me know. But y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown head.